Scorpio, welcome to your Just In Time Tarot reading. If you're watching the Scorpio Trust, that there is a message here for you. If you are a regular, welcome back, Scorpio. If you're a newbie, my name is Bronya. Welcome. I'm an intuitive tarot reader. Can't wait to bring through this message for you. Just so that you know, sometimes it can feel like a personal reading, like it's your message, and that feels so cool when it happens, but it's not always going to happen with a general collective reading. So sometimes it can be, you know, pieces that resonate, but don't underestimate those. Can they? because they can be just what you need to hear and occasionally none of it will resonate that's okay too just leave it for someone else a personal issue reaches resolution full moon in cancer you might be dealing with a cancer sun moon rising venus you may have a, a significant cancerian placement um but the, the the cancer energy is something that has caused you high emotions right like it's really sort of pulled on the heart right the cancer energy really links to you know, the heart and the emotions, right? So you're navigating a personal issue. You're being told that that is going to come to some kind of completion, some kind of resolution, right? So I think that is a, a beautiful message. And there's almost like a, a divine protection element to this energy. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, I'm using the beautiful Divine Initiation Oracle and the Ethereal Alchemist Tarot. I will link these uh, down below if you want to add these absolute stunners to your collection. All right, you're being told here it's time to go within. All right, so maybe there is a clue within you, you know. Maybe you're being asked to really see the gift in this situation, right? There's always a gift in our challenges. Um, the go within energy is also saying it's time to look at maybe the part that we might have played in creating this situation or choosing it or being part of it, right? Let's go within. Let's reclaim our power. Let's also acknowledge that our circle of control is within ourselves and our four fields of being. And we can't control everything externally, right? The decisions of others, how they feel, how they act. What we can control is how we respond, all right? So it's a little bit of like reclaiming your sovereignty and your authority and your personal responsibility here. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Full tarot deck, first card out is the Eight of Cups. Okay, so the Eight of Cups for me is a moving on energy, a moving away from something that, you know, hasn't been, you know, the full picture for you, right? And it's the Cups energy and we see the water. So it's, you know, it's an emotional situation here. You might have been trying to make an important decision, like a stay or go type situation uh, decision with this whether it's around a relationship or a career or a place. An Eight of Cups kind of situation is one that has enough elements to kind of be satisfactory and tick along, but you've come into the awareness that there's a fundamental piece that's a non-negotiable that's missing. Now, that might look like, you know, not being on the same page with a really a significant part of the future with a partner, like not wanting to live in the same place, or one of you wants to have kids, one doesn't, something like that. Um, in a career, it could be, well, look, you know, I, I have security here, but I'm not passionate about it, or um, I love the, the job, but I'm not making enough money to set myself up. So there's a key piece missing, and it's through acknowledging that and bringing conscious awareness to it that, Scorpio, you can choose something different, and it just feels that this is the time. Now, we just passed through the full moon in Aquarius on uh, Monday, Tuesday this week. And, you know, that that energy is really highlighting the individual path, right? And your unique life path. So I just feel that maybe it really, you know, started activating this week. It might have been when you go, you know what? I'm really seeing the truth. It's maybe that when you went within, you're really seeing the truth. And now it's almost like the decision is made, but it's the follow through piece that is waiting. Yeah, Seven of Swords kind of in reverse there. And the Seven of Swords can be a few different things. It can be where if we stay in a situation that isn't the full picture for us, then we, we self-sabotage. We uh, undervalue ourselves, undermine ourselves. There could have been a, a situation like a betrayal, a deception, or uh, like a dishonesty, something like that, 
uh, that, you know, has brought this to light for you. You know, the personal issue could be around the Seven of Swords, but it's resolving your decision whether to stay or go within it, right? So Seven of Swords is not an easy energy. It needs awareness brought to it, right? Because it can be happening as an undercurrent behind the scenes. Three of Pentacles, you know, a few things with this one. It could mean that within this situation there is a, another energy that is why it doesn't feel like the full picture. For example, in a relationship this might be that you're with someone who can't be fully present, present and emotionally available because there's a, a, a third party. Now that is not always another person, I just want to say it could be, you know, uh, an addiction, it could be uh, you know, their work, they overwork, or they're just, you know, got a focus somewhere else, and they're not choosing you. Um, that is one possibility of the Three of Pentacles. The other thing with the Three of Pentacles is like, if you really want to get the tangible results and outcomes for what you are manifesting and dreaming, it feels like that is achieved on the other side of the situation. Because we know if we're in a situation that isn't the full picture, we're never going to get that and the energy usually remains the same. So I always say the Three of Pentacles is like the earthly realization of the Empress's dream, but we need to navigate the Eight of Cups to get there. Yeah, and then we get to the Page of Pentacles. And the, the pages for me link us to the Ace of the same suit, meaning there is a solid, committed, new beginning for you in this new direction, right, after the Eight of Cups. And this is what is being kind of seeded for you now. It's like it's close, you know, and it hasn't quite arrived yet because you've got to create the energy. You've got to create the energetic potential. It's like the universe is waiting in the wings. I want to bring that into Scorpio. But let's see if Scorpio makes the move. Otherwise, we'll just hold it there until Scorpio is ready. Yeah, because there's more to the story. Like, sandwiched you know, this is sandwiched in between the seven and eight of swords, and this is the battle of the mind, right? This is why we need to go within, because the eight of swords is like, oh, yeah, I would really love to leave this situation, but I feel uh, obligated, responsible, accountable, contracted, guilty, overwhelmed, um, not really wanting to go through the hard part, wanting to bypass painful action. It's all of that stuff. And, you know, I get it. It, it is hard, but that creates entrapment, okay? So with the Eight of Swords, the, the message is there's always a way through it, but we have to be willing to see different perspectives. Yeah, we might have to rip a Band-Aid off and that's going to hurt, but after that, you know, the, the, the air gets to the wound, we get to heal and move on and heal twice as strong and recreate, okay? So that's what I'm, I'm feeling here with this energy. You know, um... A big issue reaching resolution and yeah, look, nine of cups. We've got a lot of eights and nines, um, seven, eight, nine, which is a progression towards the fulfillment and fruition of the nine of cups, which is known as the wish fulfillment. And let's not ignore the fact that it is the next card on from the eight of cups. So we take the journey of moving on, moving forward to find the missing piece, which is the Ace of Cups, but it's being signified by the Ace of Pentacles here because you want the solid, tangible version of that to show up, right? Um, so the journey of the Eight of Cups leads us to actually being able to realize some kind of bigger hope, dream, or wish, right? And I feel like you're right at the tail end of this, just getting over the line with the decision, so a, a personal issue is reaching resolution. There feels like there is a really big fear barrier to overcome, but what you want is just on the other side of that. So the question is, are you ready? Because this is very close for you. You know, it is coming. Are you ready to receive it? So I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you'd like to follow up with a personal reading, please do follow the first link down below to my website and you can check those out. I will link you to my Instagram and TikTok accounts as well. Uh, if you would like to uh, connect with me over there for different daily content, I'm very active and interactive. 
There's a free Learn Tarot Quick Guide as well, and also two paid options for learning tarot with me. I teach intuitive tarot, that is uh, reading from the heart, the intuition, not the guidebook. All right, that's a real trap that readers fall into. So I'll leave you to explore those. And for now, I'm sending you all the love and magic. Do take care. Bye for now.